Yeah, with all that being said, you know, being a HSP doesn't allow me, knowing that I'm a HSP doesn't allow me to just like ignore all that struggles and, you know, justify my challenges and all. I don't think it's like that. You know, I think that knowing this means that I'm aware of what are things I can control and what are things I cannot control. What is it that is inborn within me, right? And then from there, work on the things that I can control and work on the challenges that comes with this trait, right? But there are good things that comes with that trait, but you know, there are also challenges that I have to cope with as well. And part of, you know, my healing and my personal development journey is to kind of find ways that actively find ways that I can I can cope with all these challenges. So I will be sharing, you know, some of my tips. You know, I think being a HSP, knowing that you're HSP means that you need a lot of rest. Okay. And I think this is my number one tip. I think it's so important to rest because we our senses, our five senses, tend to get overstimulated. I think it's important to give ourselves that rest to recuperate from, you know, that constant stimulation, especially after, you know, um, an exciting event or, you know, a very intense, um, you know, conversation with someone, right? I think giving ourselves that break and not having too much on our plate, I think is so important for a HSP. Um, yeah, and not feeling guilty about it. And coming to know that I'm HSP also means that, you know, I come to embrace this part of me, right? There is um, good things, for instance, I'm able to, I find that I'm able to verbalize my feelings and my emotions in great detail as compared to maybe other people. Even though I'm more sensitive, yeah, that is true. But at the same time, being sensitive means that I feel a lot more and feeling a lot more means that I'm able to communicate all these feelings in great detail. Sometimes, you know, I, yeah, I tend to elaborate too much on my feelings. But I come to see that, you know, there are, you know, good things about being a HSP as well. And this is one of them. And the last thing um, about being a HSP is I've learned that I really, really need to communicate my feelings to other people around me to get the support um, from other people.